Uh, good evening. I'm uh, Grayson Robinson. I'm the Arapahoe County Sheriff. Uh, we are here uh, to again uh, update you on the uh, tragic shooting that happened today at Arapahoe High School. Uh, as you're uh, probably well aware, at uh, 1233 this afternoon, uh, a school resource officer assigned to the Arapahoe High School called out for assistance on a, uh, some type of a situation on the west side of the school. Uh, the deputy immediately realized that an armed student had come into the school and had shot one student in the immediate entry area of the west area of the Arapahoe High School. The deputy and security staff from Littleton Public Schools immediately responded to that area along with responding deputies from the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office and they immediately implemented our active shooter protocol. Our active shooter protocol is exactly the same as the active shooter protocols that have been trained locally and regionally and across the United States. And that protocol and that purpose relative to the active shooter response is to go immediately to the threat and eliminate the threat. The deputy that is assigned as a school resource officer did exactly as he was trained and as he is expected to do. From the time that the deputy called out the incident until the time that he discovered the shooter's body was, with, was within five minutes. The deputy did his job, school security did their job, and the additional responding deputy sheriffs that made up an active shooter response team did their job extraordinarily well. I believe that their quick response and their reaction saved lives in this particular incident. I have no way of knowing, nor will I have a way of knowing, but I believe the shooter knew that deputy sheriffs were immediately about to engage him, and I believe that that shooter took his life because he knew that he had been found. I also wanted to ensure that all of you understand how grateful I am for the unbelievable response of resources and individuals from public safety entities across the South metropolitan area to this incident. The men and women that responded to this incident acted courageously, they acted exactly as they were trained, and they collaborated in the best interest of the public safety of our community and most importantly the student body of Arapahoe High School. We evacuated the school fairly quickly, but we did it deliberately. While we were evacuating the school, no staff, no students, no members of the community were injured. And that is a very, very marked comment because the evacuation was done in an organized and very thoughtful and deliberate manner so that we ensured that there were no other injuries to anyone while they were being evacuated. We now have closed down both of our reunification centers, one at the Shepherd of the Hills Church and the second, second one at the Euclid Middle School. All of the students that were in the school today during the tragic incident have been reunited with their family and with their friends. We know that they are all safe. I'm sad to tell you that we have two students that were injured. One student suffered a minor gunshot wound, was treated at the hospital, and had, within the last half hour has been released uh, to parent, with parents. Sadly, I also must inform you that a 15-year-old student uh, who w suffered a significant gunshot wound is currently listed in critical condition in a local medical facility. Uh, as I mentioned at our last uh, meeting, uh, our thoughts and our prayers are with that dear young lady and with her family. Our investigation continues and our investigation will go forward for the remainder of the weekend. Uh, we anticipate that Arapahoe High School will be closed as a result of our investigation at least through Sunday and possibly longer. We have a very detailed and a complex investigation to conduct. We have a great deal of evidence that we need to evaluate and collect we will do it right, we won't do it quick. Our purpose now is to ensure that we serve our community so that at the end of our investigation, 
our community and those that have, have interest will understand exactly how this happened and we are hopeful that we will be able to identify why it happened. That will take some time. We currently have crime scene investigators from the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office, from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, and from the Federal Bureau of Investigation inside the school. They are beginning to design their plan to collect and evaluate evidence. That is a process that will take some time, and it is a process that will be done extraordinarily well because of the men and women that are assigned to those responsibilities. We are fortunate to have some of the very, very best, most talented, most experienced crime scene investigators with us tonight in that school and conducting that particular piece of the investigation. There have been some questions about releasing the, uh, the property of the students and also releasing vehicles from the West parking lot. The West parking lot is the main parking lot used by students. At this point in time, we don't have a time frame where we will release those vehicles to their rightful owners. However, our goal is to try to accomplish that around 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And again, that time is an estimate. It will depend on the evidence that we find and the work that we have before us to do the job that we need to do. We've also had some questions about personal property that was left behind in the school by staff and students. That property will need to remain in the school until we have completed our crime scene investigation. I'm not going to put a time frame on it, but for those folks that are trying to decide how they're going to retrieve their personal property, I can assure you that that will not happen through Sunday. We are hopeful that we will be able to accommodate the return of that personal property by Monday morning or Monday around noon, but that time frame still remains to be seen because it will be driven by our need to conduct a thorough and complete crime scene investigation. I will tell you that we know the identity of the suspect. However, I am not at liberty to discuss it or release it formally at this point in time because proper and accurate identification has not been accomplished. And we will wait to ensure that we provide you with accurate and detailed and factual information. I will tell you that th there have been some reports about the individual who was responsible for this shooting. Although we've not confirmed it at this point in time, our in initial investigation is causing us to believe that this shooting was the result of revenge on the part of the shooter because of a confrontation or a disagreement between the shooter and the teacher that the shooter was looking for when he entered the school just before 1233. I want to reiterate though that that information is preliminary and it is the direction that our investigation is currently going. It has not been confirmed and once it is confirmed, we will ensure that we share that information with you and with our community. As I mentioned, there are, have been a large number of resources that responded to this tragedy. From the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office, from local law enforcement around the South Metropolitan area, regional public safety assets, assets from the state, and assets from the federal government. I am grateful for their response for their support and for their assistance in this matter. We will have a thorough and complete investigation because of the resources and because of the talent and skill sets that are currently available to us. Those, those talents and those resources are available to us until we release them from this particular scene. And I want to mention again, we will do this investigation right. We will not do it quick and that is by design. I also want to make sure that you understand that this will take some time. We will probably clear the scene by Monday, but to decide exactly how this happened, why it happened, and what the background was will take us some time. Once that time has passed and we've accomplished the work that we need to do, we will release a complete and a thorough report of this incident 
so that people understand how it happened and very frankly my hope is why it happened. I mentioned uh, the partnerships that we had and that we continue to have. One of our strongest partnerships in keeping our community safe is our partnership with the, with the Littleton Public Schools, which is, part of, is the district that Arapahoe High School is in.